Hey gang, among the requests from class with regards to what video you wanted to see were videos about more complex roofs. Now I'm not going to get too complex here, but I wanted to show you a few things that you can move forward with your roof practice on. So here I am in Sketch. I've just opened a random practice exercise. And first I want to jog your memory, remind you that hitting the Tab key before you place the roof will actually rotate the roof for you. Okay, so if I place the roof and I still want to rotate it, remember you do have the rotate button up here, 45 or 90 degrees. So here I'll just click it. See, roof rotates. All right, so here we have a simple gable roof. Now, uh, let me point something out here. First and foremost, if you recall, we get to the properties by clicking on our floating hand. And you'll notice under dimensions here, we have an option called roof type. And here at roof type, we can change it from gable to flat, shed, hip, uh, gambrel, so on and so forth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just choose hip here. All right. Click back on the roof. Now, you'll notice we have a, a hip roof. and just to illustrate a little bit more, I'll change the size a bit, and we'll go to three dimensions. All right? There's a hip roof. Now let me show you something. With this hip roof, if I go back to my properties, you'll see that the hip ends are in both ends. But I don't necessarily need to do that. I can have a hip end on one end only. See that? So let's take a little bit of look at uh, what that will do if we make a slightly more complex roof. So let's start it out by oops, going to our properties and changing our slope to 8 and 12. All right, and let's change up the size a bit. Okay, so let's uh, give ourselves a roof extension here. Hold down control, click, pull this out like that. Now, here is our roof with a gable end on this end and a hip end here. See that? Now, I can highlight the entire roof or just this section of the roof. See how roof one's highlighted? Or just this section of the roof. See how roof two's highlighted? Okay. So if I highlight just roof two here, I can choose the properties for this roof also. And choose hip on end D only. Okay. Go back to both ends. Uh, oh, excuse me, and C only. You know, that wasn't the best example. Let me grab break here. Hold down control. All right, so here I have. configuration where I've got hip, I've got a hip here, I've got a hip here, I've got a gable here, and a hip here. Okay, and what I'm going to do just for practice is I'm going to take this piece right here, this roof, and change it to a gable. Now one thing I want to remind you about is to keep an eye on the slope. See the slope here? I like to set my slope in advance, but it's not uncommon when you're changing roof types to actually default back to the to Xactimate's default for the slope, which is 4 and 12. So you have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, so that's just a quick practice on how to change 
the roof type from a hip to a gable, from a gable to a hip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to right click on sketch and I'm going to add a new sketch. And I'm just going to show you one shortcut. Okay? You'll notice that there's a whole drop down of the different types of roof that's, that you could add right from the beginning. There's a shortcut there, so if I just click on the roof icon, you see how I've got, I haven't clicked in place yet. If I just hit the space bar, it'll toggle through all the different roof types that Xactimate gives you right out of the box. See that? So if I want to, I can just drop down a hip roof right from the beginning.